Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve um, this absolute value inequality. Um, so when solving an absolute value uh, inequality, what we basically need to do, just like an absolute value equation, is set up our two cases. So we want to set up the case when the absolute value is positive or negative. But when we're doing this for an absolute value when an inequality, we got to make sure we flip the sign when we're making it negative. So therefore, my two cases, I'm going to have a 1 7th y plus 2. Ah. Yeah, minus 5 is actually, you know what? Never mind. Before I do that, I want to isolate my variable. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So that's absolute value of 1 7th y plus 2 is greater than 8. Now I can create my two cases, which is 1 7th y plus 2 is greater than 8. And then 1 7th y plus 2 is less than negative 8, right? Just think of like multiplying by negative 1 on both sides or negative 1 on your side to make a negative. You've got to make sure you flip the sign. So now I can go ahead and solve and then graph my solutions. So in doing that, I'm just going to subtract 2. And I have 1 7th y is greater than 6. Now to get rid of my fraction, I'll multiply by the reciprocal. So I'll multiply by 7 over 1. This will be 6 over 1. And when I multiply, it's y is greater than 42. Now, I look over here and go ahead and solve this one. I go negative 2, subtract negative 2. 1 7th y <coughs> is less than uh, negative 10. Again, when you multiply by uh, 7 over 1, which is really basically just multiplying by 7, I get y is less than a negative 70. So we have y is less than negative 70 and y is greater than 42. So I'm gonna, when I'm creating my um, table here, um, what I'm basically going to be doing is creating now, um, creating a uh, da, 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 creating da, 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 creating creating a, creating a, a, a lot linear or a number line by going by tens. So I'll even start at zero and I'll just say negative 10 negative 20, negative 30, negative 40, negative 50, negative 60, negative 70, negative 80, negative 90. And this will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. OK, so what my graph says is y is greater than 42. So greater than, so it's going to be an open circle at 42. And since all that is greater than 42, I'm going to go to the right. And then y is less than negative 70. So I'm going to go put a circle at 70. Since it's less than, it's going to be open. And then all points to the left are going to be less than. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph a absolute value inequality. Thanks.